Hello everyone, welcome to AI Tutorials. If you are new to this video series, please subscribe and don't forget to tap the bell icon. Then only you will get notified for each video upload. In this video, we are going to learn about Pandas operation. Some important operations we are going to perform in series. Good part is the same functionality or the operation we can perform in the data frames also. Let's take a simple data set, 10 students marks mentioned in the list that is square bracket. For this we will create the series. This time I am using the variable name as SER. Simple way to remember a series equal to PD dot series pass the list then print it. So we have created the series for 10 students. 10 students marks the respective index value is displayed here. It starts from 0 to 9 and it data type is integer. Now we are going to perform some set of operation on this data. First one how to access the element. For example how to access a particular value. We can access using ilock that is index location. So yes er ilock if you mention inside the square bracket index number 5 if we run for index value 5 the value is 55 so this is a one way of accessing a particular value using ilock we can also access using loc that is location ser loc within the square bracket mention number 5 for index 5 the value is 55 so either using ilock or lock you can able to retrieve the particular value based on its index. Then next very important method is describe. First let's print SER. Okay. Now for this we are going to implement the method describe. I will execute C just a single method which gives us lot of information about the data set. So it's a data type integer totally 10 numbers and the statistical values like standard deviation 28 maximum value is 99 and uh, these 25, 50, 75 are percentile of this particular data set. This describe we use a lot because in single method we will get a lot of details about the data set. Now we can also implement individual method print SER when you run the count is 10 total number of values in that list and uh, we can also use the len keyword that is also will give total number of value either count method or len method then what is the maximum value SER dot max 99 is the maximum value similarly minimum value is 12 you can see here 99 12 then I want to calculate the sum of all the numbers inside that list that is 35 plus 64 plus 34 like that the total I want to find then I can use SER sum the sum of all the value is 620 now we can calculate mean, median, standard deviation, variance. The detailed description for each method I have already explained in the numpy. You can visit that once. SER dot mean. The mean for our data set is 62. Median is 61.5. Then standard deviation is TD. It's 28.7634. You can cross verify here mean standard deviation then variance square of standard deviation is variance 28 square is 827 then mat that is mean absolute deviation SER MAD mean absolute deviation is 23.6 based on the problem you have to choose the respective method by default it will display the percentile for 25, 50, 75. 
if you want to find for a particular value that is also possible but always remember the percentile needs to be mentioned between 0 and 1 0 means 0 percentage 1 means 100 percentage for that ser dot quantile inside this quantile inside the square bracket mention the percentile value you want to calculate 0 25 percentile 50 percentile 75 percentile 1 let's print so for 0 percentile it is 12 and for 25 it is 40 for 50 it is 61.5 for 75 it is 87.5 you can cross verify here also so based on the requirement you can able to calculate the percentile in addition to that we can display the output for our filter criteria for example i want to display the values from the data set for the students having grade b so this is the data set b grade equal to ser dot loc location within the square bracket mention the condition ser greater than or equal to 80 and ser less than 90 print b grade if we execute so totally two students got b grade and their index value is 3 and 6 in real time scenario uh, we will have multiple columns at that time you can even see the students names this is a simple example so like this we can able to do the filter criteria hope you got a good clarity on pandas operation used in series that's the end of this video thanks for watching happy learning